Right, this is our first video blog for Bursting Box. Um, it's been a long time coming. Um, if you've seen our little intro video, that was actually shot in January, and now we're in June, so it's a little bit crazy. Um, but we've got around to it, we're going to film it, we're going to show you some bespoke website projects that we've been working on, some logos, some internal news, and um, yeah, just keep you updated. Um, if you've got any like feedback or comments, yeah, just feel free to whatever platform you're watching this on, just pop us a comment, and um, yeah, hopefully we can sculpt these videos into something that's beneficial and um, entertaining. Bill, right, leave it to it. One of the websites that we've been working on is Eden Memorials, which is a memorial makers in Barnsley. Um, for anybody in and around Barnsley, it's near the big Tesco down at Stairfoot, uh, going into one Um So we were approached um, by Eden Memorials to create a new bespoke website. Um, their existing site was okay. Um, it just needed a refresh and uh, modernizing and just getting the right impression across to potential customers. So with Eden site, it's a, it's a very delicate subject. So we wanted to make sure that the design reflected that. So what we've done is we've created um, a really nice, soft, um, welcoming uh, concept and uh, made sure that any animation and features isn't too in your face and too overwhelming. It just wants to be a really nice and relaxed atmosphere. As you can see on the concept, um, this is actually the live website. So as we're scrolling down this screen recording, you can see the different um, features and functionality. And they've got a really nice and um, delicate menu with subtle animation. Uh, and all these little factors become the bespoke element of the website. In, uh, in summary, the client loved the project and loved the website. And um, yeah, we'll be working with them in the future on um, other projects and um, this website going forward. Now on to Berries. They are a local optician in Barnsley who are after a visually striking brand and website. We utilized a unique font to give it a modern yet quirky feel. As you can see, the apostrophe posed a little bit of a challenge. So we merged it into the Y to give it a seamless transition into the logo and help it flow nicely. Moving to the website, the digital aspect of it allowed us to add some more fun quirks to it, such as the eyes blinking. As we move down, you can see the modern, quirky and vibrant themes used throughout with overlapping sections, a lot of breathing room for the content, as well as the video used for the services. Just to jump in on this particular project, one of my favorite parts about it is the animated menu. So clicking this little hamburger up at the top, we've got the animated tiles that come down with related imagery for each bit. And then as you hover over, we've got the, the color scheme on. And then as, as you can imagine, when we click on, it takes us through to the correct page, which these little bespoke features are one of my favorite things to do. Cases like this really highlight why a good, strong brand is important before going into designing a website and having it built. Because as you can see, the vibrant color scheme, the quirkiness runs throughout the website and it really helps bring everything together and really takes it to that other level. These two projects are just some of the websites that we've been developing recently. As well as websites, we've been working on a lot of bespoke logos over the past few months. Here are some of our favorites that we'd like to showcase for you. As you can see now, there's two different logos on here. Um, these are for Barnsley Healthcare Federation, which you might have seen at your local GP surgery, in the local newspaper, or um, yeah, just on local advertising. Barnsley Healthcare Federation came to us, wanted a rebrand, a refresh. Yeah, we use existing color schemes and yeah, produced them something that's unique and friendly and approachable. Here's a logo for a local pet portrait artist, Steve Barker who specializes in colored pencil drawings of your pet. He wanted a, a refresh of his current branding and a bespoke website, which we'll cover in another vlog uh, episode. But uh, yeah, what we've done for Steve is, because he's an artist, uh, we wanted to get his personality and his kind of uh, presence across. We created him a signature, nice and modern, and something that he can put on his artwork just to show that it's him, his brand, and it just looks um, nice and professional for him. This logo for JK9 was a really fun project to work on. 
the lady who owns JK9 wanted to incorporate an illustration of her pet dog, Jack, into her branding. So what we've done is we've illustrated her dog and placed it on a nice neutral color scheme and placed it in a format where she can utilize it in her pet treats and pet accessories. And yeah, brings it across as a nice, strong brand, friendly, approachable, and also professional. This logo was created very recently and it's for a farrier based in Barnsley. And he had a, a specific vision he wanted for this logo, which was an illustration of a particular horseshoe, um, which had been incorporated as an emblem. Um, so what we did from photographs, we illustrated the um, horseshoe in question, made it into a vector so that it can be enlarged to any size without loss of quality, and then put a nice professional font to go with it so it looks nice and modern and it appeals to his clientele. Right, that's a wrap. We hope you enjoyed this video and the projects that we've worked on over the last few months. Uh, as next video, we're going to have some more bespoke logos, some bespoke websites, and um, we'll squeeze in some internal loose because we didn't this time. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it and um, see you in the next one.